Hello, YouTube. As you can see, I am not on my normal account. I am on my new build. I don't know why I said that so slow, but basically, what this build is, as I call it, is Velka's Sorcering Paladin. You're thinking, what does that even mean? Well, I'm going to give you a little surprise on what I'm about to do. Velka's Talisman. Dark Bead. Yes. I have created an actual Faith Mage. Not only that, he actually can use a decent amount of weapons. His, he has a little less health than most builds with only having 20 vitality. But then again, you can use Faith in Magic. So why the hell you want to be near your opponent in the first place? But, this build can also be tweaked a lot. Oh, God, I didn't notice he wasn't dead, huh? <laughs> but this build can be tweaked. To do it how you want. You can have higher health. You can have higher strength or dexterity. As you saw, mine's is level 43. I could have easily have been level... Let's look. Because I made my faith 58. And I can just take away 8 points. So I'm at least like level 134 or something like that. So I'm a decent amount like of a low level. I can play with levels 125 to 130. And that's still a very good PvP range. You can also tweak it to get rid of some intelligence. If you don't like dark magic and you like the crystal magic. And not only that, I can also get rid of some of the atonement slots. You can do a lot to make this build a lower level if you're not comfortable without being level 120, something like that. But, to the pros and cons of this thing, uh, I'm guessing a con would be the fact his health is very low. So if someone catches you in a stun lock, 9 out of 10 you're not going to make it out alive, but... As you can see, you have a free ring slot. You do not need to use the Bellowing Dragon Crest ring. You can switch it up with Blue Tear Stone ring, Steel Protection, Evil Eye. I would say Ring of Favor protecting Protection, but you only get one of those per play through, unless you give up that weird hat thing and get another one. Dark Wood Grain ring, as you can see. Or to have Havel's armor on, I mean ring on, because I fail roll without it. But if you get rid of a shield, I think, or something, I think you can, yeah. So if, you, if you're comfortable without using a shield, you can take away Havel's ring. So there's a pro right there. You can, if you're comfortable without shield, you don't got to use one. And then that's a free slot for a pyromancy. And also, since he has such high... Intelligence and faith, Velka's talisman worked amazing with this thing. Now, I haven't played online with this, like with actually using magic. So I don't think he's a one shot kill build. I really don't. Nor do I want him to be. I made him just kind of PvE. If you're more into PvE, you're not really looking to like one shot kill people, it's just kind of a I just want to play PvE and feel really strong. And he's the guy to go, but you can tweak him to be in PvE. You can switch up his weapon. You know, all that stuff. But if I'm right, he cannot go over a few pounds with all this stuff on, minus the shield. Like, if I'm right, if I put this on, I will... Yeah, see, Darkwood Green Ring isn't working anymore. So, yeah, if I'm right... With the shield, I think it's five or four pounds that you can't go over. As you can see, he has low dexterity, so I can't really use that. But it's like I said, if you like using things like 
Moonlight Great Sword works wonders. Bada boom, bada bing, bada dam. Moonlight Great Sword works it with it because of its intelligence. And since he has such high intelligence, you still do a fairly decent amount of damage with this thing. This build took me uh, about a week to create. I gave it a lot of thought whilst I was making it. As you can see, you can easily ninja flip again with taking off the shield. And then if you find yourself really in a stick situation, you can switch it up with the uh, Leo ring, Hornet ring. You can put the ring of the sun's firstborn on. You can do a lot. You can do a lot with these things. Yeah, see? Now my miracles are boosted. And since I can switch up my weapons, I can switch with the katana, roll fast, and then you're going to be like, holy shit, I can put that on. So not only is my magic boosted by the dust crown thing, I also have this crystal catalyst and I have the dragon crest ring. So I am fairly powerful in magic and faith. One's not stronger than the other and neither are dwindling in usefulness. So that kind of defeats the purpose of having a shield. You don't really need a shield to kill enemies. And that's where the PvE comes in. You don't really need to worry about much. You can just do what you want. But then again, he might be good with PvP because you have all these pros. You can hit people with lightning spear. You don't have to have great lightning spear. I just choose to. It's kind of like I can give off warning shots without having to waste off a sunlight spear. But, honestly, tell me what you think. I will just show you some more, you know, footage of him. You don't have to look like me. I'm beautiful, I know. And you're wondering why all my stuff is raw. It's because I, uh, I just didn't have much, you know, all that. Look at that. But say heavier weapons doesn't really work. If you want to use a heavier weapon, I suggest you just keep the Havel Ring on. I wouldn't use a heavy weapon with a build such as this. So now I will see if I can get some PvP in. So, au revoir for now. Ooh la la. And hello. I got an invasion. And actually, I'm doing something a little different. I found something amazing out. I can have so many buffs. I'm going to have Crystal. And I can have a... Uh, I don't know what's better. The Uasil or... I'm going to go with the Uasil. For now. Okay. So I can have the Crystal Magic buff three times. In the Sunlight Blade. So I will put on the Sunlight Blade because I am not playing nice. I am here to kill. He's not going to be able to hit me because I am ninja flipping all over the place. I have a scythe. And little does he know, I have really decent magic. And I also have a soul spear. A crystal one. So he's probably confused thinking, how the fuck am I using all this? And I am just having fun. Say he cannot touch me. Because I am amazing. I'm going to hit him with a sunlight spear. Hot Vulcan! And also, I have a rat to the gods. So let's probably kill him. Ooh, my, my.
It was nice having a duel with you. <sighs> so, as you can see, those are the pros. And the cons, I really didn't get hit that time. I don't know why. But, yes. As you saw, I did very good magic damage, and I did very good faith damage, and I was doing amazing physical damage. If I wasn't using that raw sight, I'm pretty sure I could have killed him a long time ago. And not only that, I can fast roll with almost any weapon I want. I think it's because the USO one is. No, it's lighter. Why I'm fail rolling, I don't know. Hmm. I have to look up on that. So. That was it for this little build. I'll make some PvP with it. Some <laughs> videos. And tell me what you think. Do you think this is just another cheap build? Or do you think this build has actually some really good potential with it? So, that's really about it. I'm getting my scythe. So this was Paladin Tai, aka Yumaru, saying, Nose Donkey, to you.